Need a fantastic and fun training program for the 2024 Best Fest in Mallorca, Spain? Well, today I've got you covered. Follow me now as I take you through how to utilize the Swim Smooth Guru to perfectly train for this event. And even if you're not planning on coming over to Mallorca, you can still follow along with us with this great structured 12 week program. So let's dive in. Okay, welcome to the Swim Smooth Guru and our Best Fest training program for the next 12 weeks leading up to the 2024 Best Fest in Mallorca, Spain. What you need to do to begin with is you need to create a an account. So either create the account here or indeed if you have a account with us already, just go to login. Let's assume we're going to go to the create account, enter your email, first name, last name, create a password, agree to the terms and services, prove you're human and then sign up and we'll give you a seven day free trial to utilize in the Guru so you can check it out and uh, see if it's working well for you, which we hope it will be. Um, anyway, I'm gonna log in. Now you'll initially land on what we call the progress page here. To load up the training program for the Best Fest, go to training and here we have two options. If you are looking to do the longer events, so that's the seven and the 10 kilometers on the Thursday, I would suggest selecting this plan here. If you're thinking of doing more, just the short events, so maybe up to five kilometers, choose this plan here. Now the sessions themselves actually ramp up quite quickly, simply because we've only got 12 weeks for that. But as I'll show you in a second, you can scale the sessions accordingly. So once we've selected one or the other, scroll down to the bottom, click next, and click create training plan. Give it a second to uh, create and generate the program for you. And then once you're in here, we can see here that this week, obviously the sessions actually start from Monday, the 4th of March. So you've got a couple of days to get ready for this. Um, if you want to, you can do this uh, cheeky little pure technique session over the weekend, uh, cruisy breathing. It's only a short one just to get you into the swing of things. But let's say, for example, we want to see how the program works. Well, as I mentioned, there's two versions of the program here. One of the most important things is that you actually set your CSS pace. Now, you'll have the opportunity in week one to do a CSS test and to input that data accordingly. If you happen to know your CSS pace, then you can click enter here and go to entering your CSS pace. And that will actually then cater all of the sessions directly for your swimming speed. So it'll actually make it really individually specific for you. Another way to actually get to that is just go to the tools up at the top here and click CSS calculator and add in your information from there. But let's go back to our training plan. Now these sessions will actually be populated for you at the end of each week. So you'll be able to come through here and actually see what's coming up. And you can click on these sessions to look ahead. Um, but let me just give you a little bit of an overview. So next week, we're gonna be starting with a 12 week program, including that cheeky little CSS test that I mentioned beforehand. We have a pure technique session, a technique endurance session, and a CSS development. If you tot all that up, we're looking at around about 8,800 meters for the week. So not a massive week to start off with, but we don't wanna blow your doors off right away, right? Um, so once we've gone into here we can obviously go into a session so for example the CSS test you'd come into here and then all of the exercises are actually highlighted so this one 300 meter freestyle easy 200 meters doing the broken arrow drill anytime we do any drills you can actually just click play and see exactly how to do that drill and equally anytime that we actually be doing something where we need to have a little bit of information about your speed we can input that as well so Let's just advance forwards a, uh, a week to this week here, where we have our first chance to then really put that information into play. We have a pure technique session, technique endurance, pink or red mist. This one's actually a pink mist because it's a little bit shorter at 3,200 just to ease you in. But then we have this gold lock set here. Let's view this session. Now the main set of the gold lock set is basically four 100s, four by 200, four ones, four by three, four ones, four by a four. Now, if we click the little drop down, and if you're using the Finney's Tempo Trainer, it'll tell you exactly what mode to use, using that top button there, and also the number that you need to plug in. Now, this number corresponds to the 25 meter time for your CSS pace. This is currently set to quite a whoppingly fast 114 per 100. So this is probably when I was at my, uh, at my peak. I'm currently around about 117. But anyway, your information here will be specific to you. And that's the beauty about using the Swim Smooth Guru for your training for the Best Fest 2024, is it will be totally individually specific for yourself. Now, if you decide that you haven't got time to get that full session in, or it looks a bit daunting and you want to shorten it up, 
just use this little scroll here and let's just shorten it up. Now, it's not going to necessarily fit perfectly. It's telling me here that the closest it can get to is 2,450 meters. Okay, but once it's done that, if we take a little look down, look, the whole session gets a little bit shorter. So you'd be able to fit it in on my CSS pace here at around about 35 to 40 minutes. If we go the default length, which is here, we've got around about 50 to 55 minutes there. So you can obviously go through this and just work out what is going to be best for you as you're going along. So how should you follow along with these training sessions? Well, you can generate a little PDF here in three different options here for larger print or minimal. I like to go for the standard. So we click that one there. We can download that. And once the PDF is downloaded, you can actually see all of the information here for you, including your beeper settings for the Finis Tempo Trainer, if you're choosing to pace yourself out using that. And I would highly recommend investing in one of these Finis Tempo Trainers. They're a great bit of kit. They'll cost you around about 45, 50 euros, something like that. But at least it gives you a real solid focus on your training to ensure that you're actually building up for the best fest in your best possible shape. It also tells you exactly what equipment's pinged down to the pool with you. So pool boy fins, paddles, Tempo Trainer Pro, that type of thing. You've got all the information for you there. Just print it out, slip it in a little plastic sleeve and you're good to go. Now, the great thing about this is week by week and even day by day, you can see what your sessions are. You can tick them off and mark them as complete as you go along. And then if you're using a smart device like an Apple Watch or a Garmin, if you plug that into the system, so we just go into our profile here and we go to connections just under here, you can connect your Garmin account. Coming soon, you'll be able to actually connect your Strava account as well. But if you're using an Apple Watch, all you need to do is go to the App Store, download the Swim Smooth Guru from the App Store, and that will then automatically populate onto your Apple Watch. Once it's on there, any session that you do, so long as you're using the Swim Smooth Guru app on your watch, will then start to populate here. So one of the coolest things about the progress page is it gives you an immediate indication of where you're at with your training. It's telling me right now I'm performance ready. That's meaning probably I haven't been doing enough training just lately. If I'd really dropped down, I'd be into this gray zone here and be telling me my fitness is dropping off. But equally, as you go through the program, we want to be wary about getting into the orange and red zones where you might be overtraining. If you happen to see that in the first 10 to 15 days, don't panic. That's just the guru learning a little bit about yourself and, uh, and where you're at with your training. But Ideally, we want to be in these two areas here, so the light blue and the green, where we're building fitness and uh, and just progressing ourselves on. So we can see here that I have a, uh, in the last seven days, I've done four sessions. I've swum a total of 15.1 kilometers. I've spent three hours and 16 minutes training. So this is all coming from the Apple Watch whilst I've been doing my swims using the Swim Smooth Guru. Now, there's loads of other cool, funky stuff that you can check out within the Guru, like our world's biggest swim squad, where you can actually just follow along exactly what we're doing on the pool deck here in Perth. You can tune up with your local coach so make sure you check out one of our swim smooth coaches and they can give you some video analysis and help and feedback on your stroke you might even want to join them for a, a training session somewhere around the world we can also tap into the session roulette as well so if you're ever at a loss and think i just want a you know really fun session to do you can click the little um, roulette wheel here and it'll spin and select a, a session at random for you but given the fact that you're actually following the 12 week 2024 best fest program here within the swim smooth guru you really just want to follow along within the training section as i've shown you down the bottom let's just take a little look at this so this is a really interesting bit of information here about your swimming we have a green line which is your form we have a blue line which is your fitness and we have a pink line which is your fatigue now at the moment you can see that i'm sort of plateaued off a little bit with my fitness if anything it's just dropping down slightly now if we go to the full scale picture of this over the last six to twelve months you'll see how mine's gone so this is a really zoomed out view but what's quite nice about looking at this is if we just zoom in a little bit closer the last 12 months look we can see that i started my training preparation in may for a swim over in montenegro where i built up my fitness right up to the event just here and i actually won that particular event so training had gone really well you'll notice a very steady increment in my fitness i then had about four weeks until my next big event a 20 kilometer swim over here in perth and you can see i managed to maintain that fitness at around about 60 fitness points there but after that i've taken a little bit of a slide um down to uh, down towards january 
three, and now I'm starting to pick back up. And I'm going to be doing the best fest with you guys as well. So hopefully these numbers will start to pick up. And you can see that I've still got a pretty good base here, so it shouldn't be too hard to, to get moving from there. But I find this chart really quite motivating because if you start to see that blue line dropping off, or indeed if you train a bit too hard and your fatigue goes through the roof, you'll really see the negative impact on your form there. Ideally, as we build up towards the event, you want to see this green line starting to pick up. And the way we do that is by dropping off some of the fatigue, by reducing some of the, the volume, a little bit of the intensity, and your fitness might just sort of taper off a little bit as well. But when we were getting right towards the event, we want to see that form line really coming up so that you're well ready for that. So you can access all of that information from the progress. Just as a really quick way of doing it, I like to just look at this performance ready chart here on our training balance. And if you're ever interested to know a little bit more about how this all works, just click the info button and you can see how that works from there. But otherwise, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just work your way through. The biggest week is just over 21 kilometers. Um, so it's quite, you know, we build you up quite, uh, quite strongly. That's if you're doing the longer events. If you're building up to doing just up to the 5K, we'll still take you up to around about 19 kilometers in one of the single weeks, but it's a much slower build for the shorter session. So try not to get daunted. And remember, if you ever look at a session, for example, this one here, the long swim, and you think to yourself, I can't do four kilometers, it's a bit too much. Just remember, you can just scale it down and you'll still be able to follow along with the program step by step. And we really look forward to seeing you at the Best Fest in 2024. And hopefully you have a great time following the Swim Smooth Guru to prepare you for that event accordingly.